shoulda, woulda, coulda. Am I right, guys? How close was that to a pretty decent finish to an awful start? We are just... Oh. Honestly, the amount of points we've thrown away this season, it's insane. I can only think next season will be going to be so unbelievably competitive. That's all I can see... Let's have a little look at parts and development, what's currently being designed. We've got five engineers available, do we have a spot? Why don't we have a design spot? Because we're doing research, that's why. No, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, that's why. Okay, 37 days, 8 days, 39 days, All right. So nothing cool coming this week, but... Um, An interesting, an interesting season. <laughs> it's been a real roller coaster, hasn't it? My goodness me. I don't even know where to start. It's another historic weekend of Formula One here at Zandvoort. The track has seen many unforgettable moments, like Gilles Villeneuve's three-wheeled lap at the 1979 Dutch Grand Prix, which cost him victory. What excitement lies ahead this year? There's never a dull moment at Circuit Zandvoort. It's fast, very fast, with long straights and wide curves. But it also features two heavy banked corners, where aerodynamic improvements are sure to help our drivers. This is it. We're down to the last few races of the season, and it's time for that final push. Who will be crowned champion at the end of it all? We'll find out soon enough. The weekend begins here. Bit of light ranger in practice. Okay. It's starting us on softs, which is interesting. Um, let's leave it as is. Leave it as is. Uh, at least we're going to have 100% car acclimatization at the end of this one get all these parts whopped over my god, I've got a lot of these, haven't I? Gee whiz. May have overdone that slightly. Okay. Estimated fuel per lap, 1.5 kilograms, okay. Let's go find out. Let's go find out. Radio check. Radio check. Send them both out. Okay, not a good start. They've gone wide. And these things do happen.
Right, let's see what we've got. Taking some details down. Get acclimatised to the track. So we're well under 2.5 seconds of the pace. There's a good sign for us. It means we're going to be competitive this week. Our acclimatisation is so important. Let's have a look at the rain. Oh yeah, it's going to get wet, wet, wet. It's for line rain rain. in the pit lane at the moment. Yep. Don't annoy me, game. Thank you. Right, so... Inters, I think. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Quite like the look of that. Yeah, <clears throat> we're looking really competitive this week. Maybe we can make up for the mistakes of last week. So I think what I might do on a I'm going to change things up. I mean, to, let's be fair, we have been so close to getting so many points. We would easily, easily be over 25 points right now, but for some bloody bad luck and a few bad decisions. Um, realistically, I should think about changing things up. So I'm going to plan all out attack but actually implement something slightly less uh, intense it's a crash you'll see what I mean by that in a minute When we set up for the race, we'll see what I mean. Back on the car. I'm going to keep him out there, even though the setup's bad. Oh, okay. Boost that climatization. 33% is the target.
Okay. So that's the 33 we're looking for. Have a look, see here, what can we do? So he's happy with that. But nothing else, pretty much. So that looks pretty good. Quick one. A shame we haven't had many wet races this year because we we were very very dominant um, in our early wet race. That is dry. Fires doth burn. Hamilton, Alonso, Bottas, Magnussen. This is a good race for us. We're going to start off with a few places gifted to us, which is always nice. Set up. Looking good. Take a look see here at the predicted strategies. So again, it's a one or a two stop. Soft, medium, soft. Now that's interesting. That's interesting. That would be good for Jack. That would be good for Piastri. We'll have a look. We'll take a look and see what we can do. Might be looking at double mediums here, both cars. Depends where we where we qualify, I guess. Give me feedback on balance. Well, that's not very good. Yep, like that. I like that very much. Really? More wet? Okay. I think the rain's coming down. Pretty 
on a set of inters and have a look see here what we've got. So, I mean, not bad. I think we need to tweak something up here. could work theoretically Just push our way through this. Too much of anything, so we're not far off, are we? I think we're going to get a top 10 qualifying spot here. The pace that we're putting in compared to everybody else is quite considerably better than usual. Need this up to about 60, 66. You have to put in uh, quite a few laps in the P3, I guess. So we've had no incidents today, first of the commentator. Um, yeah, I really think we, unlike most weeks where I'm just feeling positive, this week I think everything seems to be aligned in our favour. Hello and thank you for joining us as our race weekend unfolds. 
free practice is nearly done, and that means the qualifying awaits. Drivers will need to perform with remarkable consistency if they're to secure a strong position on tomorrow's grid. It's not just about one moment of brilliance. No, they'll need to prove over the course of qualifying that they have what it takes to occupy those coveted places. Hold on tight, because we're getting underway. Okay, so, um... Try and get as many laps in as we can. We're going to go aggressive hard, and we're going to put on a set of something. Okay. Okay. So we're going to put him on a set of mediums. That'll leave me two hards. Should we put him on hards? Are we going to go two lots of hards? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Let's keep the hards just in case. We know Jack doesn't really like hards, but I'm starting to think maybe it was just that one race. liking that really we'll send him out as is and we'll we'll figure it out later some lap times recorded. And hang on a minute. I may have been looking at the wrong car then. This catches me out all the time. I just wish they'd give me the data I want. There's a considerable difference between these two. That's really not helping me. Or it should do, actually. It should help a lot. Uh, let's try 
try four times. It doesn't help that I can't see my other car. I think that's what's throwing me off all the time. We're averaging between 1.5 and 1.8 maximum, so, okay. Go with the highest. The average is 1.7, but it's over 1.7, so... We don't want a repeat of last week, do we? 122, 129, okay. Whew. Maybe if I didn't try and speed up time, it would be easier. But then, of course, it takes longer and so on and so forth. If they just told me how much fuel we were using per lap. I wouldn't have to do that rubbish. I could just rely on this and record the findings and maybe have a like a tab here for fuel use, you know, like you would expect. Driver's car. Does it tell me fuel use here? No. Fuel load, but no fuel use information. Not good enough. Right, now that's a bit concerning. We are running at max 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 speed and we're still off the pace that is not a good sign that is quite concerning but we are on the hard tyres I suppose aren't we so capacity we're not quite there are we that's optimal though which is interesting
try it. And wait, look at these tires are wasted here. Um, but we went through those tires pretty quickly. How many laps did we manage? Imagine we're going to want two lots of hards, are we? Are we? I don't know. I really don't know. We did 23 laps on hard, maxed out. 21 for doing. Uh, so yeah, my early excited, oh there we go, that's a slightly better time. Oh, that's a much better time, look at that. So hards then leave us at the back of the pack. So we don't really want to be racing on hards. They've run wide. We want to go medium, medium, soft, medium. Temperature's not too high. Happened. Yellow flag. The Astri crashed. Ah. There's been a crash. We can take a look now. Now we see the Williams here. They've lost control. And <laughs> What's that rubbish in the middle? Came off the track. Looked like he was going to miss the wall and then steer towards it. Yeah, we'll call him in. Right, well, at least the car's still drivable. That's something. Same problem as us. The Astri is right down there. Look at that. Good God. So the tyres are making a huge difference. Like I say, I'm going to set up for aggressive, but I'm going to implement casual. That will give us some tyre lenience. As and when we need to be aggressive, we can be. Maybe mediums are better to start with so I can go off aggressive. Uh, a real balance this game. There's one minute left, mate. If you can get that feedback for me, you might have a perfect setup. Just be casual, be cool, man. Do. Is he going to get his time in? I don't think he got it. All right, so there's a lot going in our favour. Ninety-three percent. That's okay. So we're going to have to be buying some more of these things before the end. We have gone through so many parts. It's kind of ridiculous.
All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Good luck. doesn't look too out of control does he? One minute nine. Oh we actually moved ourselves up there for a second. Point six off the Verstappen lap time. That's that's good for us. Very good. Might not quite make it into Q2. Lines, Hamilton and Bottas, that's definitely three spots that are going to jump above us. It's a very close race, this one, isn't it? Lewin is definitely out. Can Piastri do something here? No. Oh, well, we didn't make it to Q2. My early... Expectations. Oh, no, we did make it to Q2. Wow. By the skin of one's teeth. Certainly not impressive. Radio check. Radio check. One eight. What, was it, what did he do last time? Was it one nine? He needs to break through because we need those extra tyres. Oh, no, 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 no. 
Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. He's leading the pack. He's the first one out. Can he do it? One zero point four two. Come on, come on, Piastri. No, he didn't do it. He gave it a good effort. He gave it a good effort. It's one place out. One hundredth of a second too slow. Okay, well that sort of dictates rather. Welcome to race day. What we're going to do? We get down to it. Last minute checks are being made. Qualifying went well for Williams, as attested by their strong position on the grid. Now it's all about finding that edge for the race itself. Aston Martin did a good job during qualifying, and they're pretty much where everyone expected them to be on the grid. Now it's up to them to defy expectations during the race itself. And the race will be taking place under blue skies. That means the teams should be able to apply their strategies without any added complications. No complications. So let's see how the teams tackle this race today here at the Dutch Grand Prix. Right. Well, it's not going to be the whitewash I was hoping for, I don't think. But um, I still believe we've got the potential to do something rather Superb here. The Piastri, I don't think he's got any sauce left, does he? It's telling me he's got sauce. Or maybe he does have one set of sauce. Right. Uh, the tyre cooling rate is high. It's interesting. Um, all right. Um, <clears throat> I reckon you can get 42 laps out of softs here. Really? That seems ever so high. So at medium we can get maybe 25, maybe 30. There's no way you can get over 40 laps out of these. No way on earth. Right, so we're gonna, like I say, we're gonna set up in a very aggressive manner. And just see how well we can get away with it. It's doable. It's doable. We'll stick with that for Jack. Now, I've got to work out the fuel. What did we say? 122. So this is one that you can't go full on all the way round. So, okay. We'll stick to that then. So you, sir, are going to be on medium. Medium, soft.
That is skin of one's teeth style, isn't it? Okay, but we're not actually going to race that today. We're going to race something rather different. All right, we'll go for the extra fuel because we want to go as flat out as we can for as long as we can. It's not enough fuel to do the whole race in that setup. But if it gains us some places early on, then all is good. We have beautiful blue skies overhead as the drivers line up on the grid. Here's Williams. They might not be in the top three spots, but things could change fast once the race gets underway. And looking at the second Williams car, with their starting position in the back 10, they'll have their work cut out for them. The race start is mere seconds away. I'm being realistic now. I, w I would love to come away with go. points for both the drivers. Go the cameras. And it's lights out, and away we go. Decent start. Well, look at uh, Piastri up there in eighth. Piastri cam. Piastri cam. Jack's going to join him really quick at this rate. Wow, look at our uh, fuel situation. Telling us already that we're almost out of fuel. Actually lost a bit of time there. pace left it'll be good now got to go aggressive off the pack what are we doing no wonder ps is dropping behind coast. Yep. look at him now now he's closing now he's like right let's make it happen someone spun sector two what is it Yellow ahead, yellow ahead. Hamilton, wow. Nightmare weekend for Hamilton. All the way down to last place now. DRS is unable. Okay, but we don't get any DRS there. Where's the DRS on this track? Two sections, okay. Yes, we deploy. Try and get up to within DRS zone. Full deploy. There we go, Lovely. very nice. Could be uh, within range. Yes, it is. And a new position just gained by Williams. Our DRS is really not as good as it used to be, is it? Yes, we overtake. You have the overtake. 
me. That's a stomping lap. Oh, he got a bit sideways there, didn't he, Mr. Rockon? And we put the fastest lap time in, so that's fine. We can hold on to that for a while. Cut cam. Cuts up into 12th. Looking good, my man. Jack overtake. Overtake is available if needed. The Astro is overtaking Ocon. Very nice. Jack has done the same. Whoa, not quite. Ricardo's fighting back. Jack overtake. He's got to get it on the straight, surely. And McLaren with a great overtake. Overtake is available. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Oh, maybe not. Ricardo's fighting back. He is not giving up that spot. This is the kind of aggression we want to see from Ricardo in real life, I think. Not necessarily against me, but against, uh, you know, real world drivers. It'd be fine. Son, I think it's got him. DRS is open, he should be through. Oh, you'll know. The Astro Cam. The Astro lost position as well. Not ideal. And there's an overtake from Williams. Well done. Well done, Jack. Be a tough old fight, this. Back to one. It's one of the top boys. It's Perez. Is it Perez? Who's running wide there? Oh, no, it's Stroll. Well, I'd love to come off this pace, guys, but if I do, we're going to drop down the numbers so quickly, it's untrue. The Astro, go on. At last. Oh my word. Russell behind us as well. Okay, good job, good job. And a new position just gained by Williams. Oh, well done, Doohan. Doohan's up into the points. Double points scoring opportunity today. Head down. Keep your head down. Don't know what we have left. That's a position gained for Alpha Tauri. Awkward, very awkward. The Astri overtake. Okay, we can use the overtake. Why did we not get DRS there? I swear this DRS thing is broken as hell.
Got Cam. Nice, Jack's just overtaking Vettel as well. This is uh, very good for us right now. We need to keep it nice and clean. Get some good pit stops. And uh, we can go. We'll go. So, I'm looking at Doohan, and he's doing a fantastic job on these softs. I'm wondering now whether to go hard soft. Okay, keep pushing, keep pushing. The Astri Harvest for two. That's a good overtake from Alpine. We're certainly not pulling away, are we? Which is a bit of a concern. I'm going to go standard. I think everyone's going to go for a one-stop. I don't think we're putting in lap times. Doing's doing 114s. That's, that's not fast enough to these guys here. It's faster than these guys, though. Son of a bitch. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Alpha Tower regained a place. Happy to increase pace. Happy. Keep doing what you're doing. Yastri. There's an overtake from William. Yastri can. But he's just dropped down the rankings significantly. That's because I had him harvest, didn't I? Okay. But Duan is slowly pulling away from Vettel. Piastri is keeping up with uh, Ocon and Russell. I guess this is where we're going to sit for the race. But we're fighting over 8th, 9th, possibly as far up as 6th. <clears throat> Got to keep it calm, keep it cool. Watch that fuel. So we're more competitive now as a car, I think, on the track itself. Gut cam. 
<clears throat> but our DRS is no longer as effective as it was in year one. We're going to have to balance this out. What I want to do next year is develop certain parts for certain tracks. And see how we get on there. The Glack Jack is reeling him in. Jack is coming to the end of those tyres. God. It's Alpha Tower, he just will not go away. Go the cameras. They're on softs as well. Okay, that's why. A proper battle. This is this is the bloodiest fight I think I've seen in this game so far. It's going to be a lot of position overtakes. How on earth this track has zero chance of a safety car? I don't know. Because this is proper proper fighting. Piastri cam. And a new position. Just gained by Williams. All of a sudden we've picked up some pace. Not enough though. Alpha Tower, he gained a place. Very tip for tat, isn't it? Jack Cam. Wow. How did Vettel get so far ahead of us? If we can grab some points and finish above Ricardo and Norris, that is a win-win, triple win, big fat smiley grin. Jack, I think, is going to have to stay aggressive if he wants to get where he wants to get to. So this is rather unprecedented. The slow cars in the middle at the back are actually catching the slower cars at the front. Doesn't happen very often. No DRS again. Why? Why, 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 why? Yes, all we can realistically do is what we can do. We can't do more than what we can do. Yes, we can. just simply don't have the pace to be any closer than this. Chat cam.
But we're getting eaten up by the, the rest of the pack down here now. We're going to have to ease off. They can't have more fuel in the car than we did, can they? All signs of the new fastest lap. struggling could do a team play thing here couldn't I register lift and cook Copy. Back overtake. Back overtake. He's overtake. He's overtake. Copy. That did not go well. All right, we are coming in for some mediums. And box box. Because he has no tires left, basically. Increase, please. Copy. Entering the pit lane. Copy. Okay, watch the white light and put limiter on exit. Watch the white light and put limiter on exit. Now what we have to rely on now is that Jack, on those fresh tyres, can come out and just smash the living daylights out of everybody. But we're just going to have to kind of leave him to it and hope that he does. Jack Carvis for two. But the idea is that whilst everyone else's tyres are getting slightly worn and they're going a lot slower, Duan will maintain a much, much higher pace per lap, like one to two seconds quicker. It's a gamble. It really is a gamble.
duck cam. So Piastri's doing a fantastic job of holding on to those tyres. Jack overtake. And use overtake, tech, use overtake. Tech. Get rid of this Hass. So he'll just be slowing us down. Jack neutral. It's a good job. Okay. So now Jack can really go for it. And there's an overtake from Williams. Your situation is a tricky one. Not quite sure what to do with that. But Dewan's doing 1 minute 13, 5, 7, 6, but he was being held up by that Haas, so I want him to come in with the fastest lap now, 112 something. That would be a good sign. If he can't do that, then probably made a bad choice. But he is pulling away from that Haas quite quickly. Norris is in the pit. Can we get around and out the other side before he can? That would be good for us. That would be very good for us. There's the new fastest lap we were after. And yes, we're ahead of Norris. Perfect. Right, one down, ten to go. Piastri cam. Well, he's doing a great job. He's holding on to these guys superbly well. Get his fuel under control. Everything is looking good. Just doing enough to hang on to that DRS Piastri. No, he didn't get DRS that time. Hang on a minute. I don't know if he didn't. Sure he did. Perhaps it's just a really short DRS. Jack's got some significant catching up to do. balanced. I think it's getting a little bit too out of control for my liking. That's a great job, great job. And it's just overtaken Guyan Zhu, Zhu Guyan, whatever his name is. We're all good there. That was perfect timing really.
I think if we can maintain this pace, we can go hard. Got a 10 second gap between us and Ricardo, who's doing fantastically well, it has to be said. Having said that, I'm on mediums and we're nearly halfway round. I reckon if I race like this on mediums for the rest of the track, we could definitely be close to, if not bang on, completing the race with just one set. No, I can't do double mediums, can I? I've done that before. Uh, amazing how often I fall into that gap. If I go for a second set of mediums, then I have to um, have to swap to softs at the end. Thing is, though, with mediums, we're only just keeping pace. We're not catching anybody. We did get DRS there, but only just. Piastri, deploy. Yeah, deploy. Copy. What is that Ferrari doing there? Turn into the pits, I see. Uh, ignore. We're going to do the fastest lap that anyone's ever seen. Let's go for it. And then we're going to come out of the pits and still be ahead of some of these guys. That's the plan here. To push on with the tyres. Look, we're doing is. Just doing a little, uh, little instruction there. Can Piastri get another lap out of these? I wonder. Right, I need to know his lap time. Yeah, we can get one more lap out of this. What were you we doing? 1.13.7. That's not as fast as Russell, but it is fast. Right, we're definitely coming in for tyres. I think we're going to have to go hard, right?
We want to do a one stop. Gotta be hard. Okay, so box this lap. Right, really attack it, mate. Go for it. Jack, harvest for two. Let's close this gap. Copy. Oh, this is this is exciting now. Halfway through Grand Prix, this is the most excited I've been, I think, since I started playing this game. Well, maybe not the most excited. We're definitely close. Go. Copy. No, watch the white line on exit. Are we going to get out in front of them? The Stappen and Signs have already got past uh, Duan, but I don't mind rolling out behind them. Go on, fella. That is a shame. We almost did it. Good job, good job. Great job. Great job. Doing that was awesome, mate. Absolutely awesome. Nice work. Looks like a good move for Williams. Jack Cam. Oh, he went with him, though, didn't he? to drop back. Copy. Go the cameras. Jack is doing a magnificent job there. Now, if Piastri comes out in front of Russell, we are in a really good spot. Piastri cam. <laughs> so close. Let's keep him going. Let's keep him going. Pushing on. Pushing on. Copy. 
Okay, we've given ourselves a bit of a gap. I don't know. I don't think we can do any more than we've done. We asked three harvest for two. Jack, deploy. Use the rest. Copy. Ferrari, advance the race position. Conserve fuel. We have to start doing this now. We want to leave court, please. Copy, copy. The Astri cam. A fantastic job out there. Doing really well, Piastri, I've got to say. Both drivers doing excellently. Jack Cam. Max Fuel. Jack, Max Fuel. We look at reducing the lift and core. Ah, I was trying to stop him. Two of them got past. Jack, conserve fuel. Increase, please. Copy. Reduce the lift and cut. Copy. Let's conserve fuel now and we'll have some idea of what we got left at the end of the race. The Astri Cam. Doing a fantastic job, but he's actually looking for the overtake on the outside, on the inside. He's got him. Bloody hell. Okay, that's good. That's good. And a new position just gained by Williams. I knew it wouldn't last, but hey, it's nice to be there for a bit. No DRS again. Jack, harvest fuel. Oh, and Ferrari just gained a place. Jack, conserve fuel. I'm going to have to leave him on conserve fuel for a bit. We cannot have a repetition of last week. Oh my God, he must hate me so bad. We need to improve our DRS acceleration, don't we? Because it opens and it takes a while for us to get up to speed. This is not helping us. All right, I'm going to just stick him down on conserve.
going to be a long race. A position gained for Alfa Romeo. There he is again. He's got him again. That's fantastic. That's exactly what we want from him. It doesn't matter that he loses it on the next straight. That is not important. Because as long as we've got enough TRS to push on the last lap, that'll be a win. Or that'll be an extra position. And you've got to think everyone is going to be in the same position as us, give or take. No, our, neither of our drivers are particularly good at conserving fuel, but you, know, you can't expect all other 18 drivers to be perfect at it. But there must be other people out there struggling with the fuel situation the same as we are. Look at that. Piastri actually held on to it for a whole lap. It's unexpected. And he's doing competitive lap times, which is nice. Keep your head down. And McLaren with a great overtake. Piastri harvest for two. So we'll let the Ferrari take over again, and that'll help us get a bit of ERS back. And Jack, well, he was holding on to 10th. Doing a great job, though. Holding on, period. Let's have a look at Jack's situation. We've got about 30 laps left. If I bring him in, he could quite conceivably get to the end on hards, couldn't he? Okay, keep pushing, keep pushing. I don't know if he can hold on to those mediums for a whole 30 laps. Ferrari, advance the race position! Seems a bit much. Piastri neutral. Good position now. We've got full ERS. And we're back on the pace. Jack Cam. McLaren gain a position. I'm going to bring him in early. And I'm going to stick him on some hards. Box, box. Because he's better when he's pushing hard, I think. Done a great job of holding everybody up, giving Piastri a good chance of finishing top five, all those things. Top six, probably. Good job, good job. And a new position, just gained by Williams. Let's burn the last of these tyres out. See if you can't put a decent lap time in. 
into place. What's gonna happen, is it? Jack Harvest for two. He's not holding on to that at all, is he? But we have held them up really well, so he's done his job. Entry pit lane. Copy. So one shot white line and pit limiter. All right, I'm going to leave Jack to his own devices. He's going to stay aggressive and balanced. Let's see what he can do. The Astri Cam. Deploy. Make sure you give some energy. Copy. Go the cams. Still a long way to go, still 19 laps here. Far from over. Got a bit of extra fuel as well for Piastri on the last couple of laps. We're in a really strong position here. Ocon is closing in on us, but only marginally. Fuel. Copy. Jack is 
faster than everyone in front of him right up to right up to us in fact, I think he's the fastest on the track right now with the exception of Perez who just set a very 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 fast lap time that's looking good Jack Cam How much time has he got to catch up? Yeah. 2, 12, 14, 18 seconds. Not going to get much higher than this, to be fair. But he's done a fantastic job. He's really helped the team. The Astri Cam. Sitting up here, fighting with a Ferrari. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought that possible? On medium pace and medium tack. Doesn't seem very likely, does it? But it's, it is likely, it is true. Just out of curiosity, if I sit on light for a couple of laps, how much time are we going to lose on him there? But he went for an overtake whilst on light. That's a good sign. If he can sit there and hold on to him on light, that's really good news for us. Less than half a second off. He must be closing in on uh, the tail end of there. It's probably Albon. See? No DRS again. Why? Or am I just missing it? Is it so short that I'm just not looking quickly enough? Uh-oh, sector one. Just a yellow. I think someone's run wide. What that? Okay, that's good for us. The Astri overtake. Happy to use the overtake. Copy. Doing good. And there's an overtake from Williams. One Jack. Didn't take it. Has he gone past him yet? Come on. So he has got DRS. I think maybe DRS starts and yeah, it finishes a lot quicker than I expected. So it starts really early back on that corner still. It's very cool. Reduce lifting coast by one level. 
Probably. Good, exciting race this. I'm enjoying it. We got nearly one kilogram of fuel left. We don't need to use it yet. Have a look at his tyres, actually. But yeah, he's on hards like us. A slightly better tyre tread, but not a lot. Not a lot. I would love to be able to take all of this information out and put it on separate screens. That would be fantastic. Right, Norris is in the pits. <clears throat> if doing. Okay, it's a safety oh, car. Oh, a safety car. Positive on the Delta. Okay, there's a big crash. Okay, I'm going to click ignore, but then I'm going to cheat and just take a second to look at this because I find it so irritating that um, the game sort of won't let you look at the necessary information to make an informed decision. Um, so Jack is about to come round to the pits and there's a safety car. So, I mean, wouldn't it make sense him to pit in grab some mediums well, I think that would make him a lot faster and possibly he can get up into the points possibly possibly I think it's worth a try Um, Piastri, I don't think there's any point in, in bringing him in because he's in a really good spot. Does he have enough tyre for the remainder? That is the question though, isn't it? So he could come in and get some mediums and possibly be faster as well. Or he could get some. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be really tight, isn't it? That trajectory is ooh, right on the brink. Wow, these are the decisions that make or break your season. The Astri's running light. He's running light, but he's, he's actually going slower than Ocon and Bottas. And they're all going much faster. I think he should come in for tyres. Because he just... The amount of laps that we've got left. God, I hope that's the right decision. Jack Cam. I think that was a crash. Leave core increased, please. Copy. So lifting coast level three. Copy. Twenty two laps. All right, Jack is out. So Schumacher has pitted. Back off. Lovely. Just went past the uh, pit car so we can unlap ourselves. That's pretty cool. You know. 
my dinner's ready. Good timing. Right, the Astro coming out in eighth, so we're still in the points, but we've got the. Uh, hopefully, the added performance. We've got better tyres than all of these guys. Dewan's got better tyres than all of these guys. I don't know what's going to happen. I can only hope good things. It'd be lovely if we could get another 15 points and hit that 25 marker today. 25 points in one day. That would be very, very nice. Well, I'm not entirely sure. If anybody out there knows, please let me know. Gasly's out. That's who must have crashed. Um, what is the deal with the safety car? Every car has to fall into line before it can be released. Is that right? I think that's how I understand it. I'm not a million percent sure that's the case. But yeah, I believe that's the case. But the safety car may go round twice if that is the case which will leave us with slightly less than 20 laps, so we can really punch it hard. It's going to be a fine balance though, isn't it? We've got lots of fuel in reserve, that's great. We are very ready to attack this. Been really good. Safety car in this lap. No, it's not the case then. Okay. All right. Okay, we are happy to push. Happy to push. Copy. We look at reducing the lift and core. Copy. Just use the overhead. Yes, we can. Copy. Push hard. Happy to push hard. Copy. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Hope something amazing happens here. Amazing and positive for us. Seventh. That's sixth. That's fifth. Well, they cars were overtaking. I think we're overtaking those cars. Lapping them, rather. And a new position. Well, unfortunately, Jack is miles behind. I don't know how he's going to catch up. I really don't. Back into sixth place, right behind that Ferrari. But we've got fresh tyres and he hasn't. Can't see him lasting very long here. Yes, he keeps his head for a change. We'll be past him on this corner coming up next. What oh, Piastri doing? That was a great move. We're up into the top five, guys. Oh, this is so nice. And we're back down into C. <laughs> He can't get rid of these Ferraris that easy. The Astri neutral. Right, so he's got to hang on to that now. Jack, deploy. Use the rest. Copy, copy. Fastest lap. New fastest lap for Jack Doohan. Well done, lad. Next year, that's going to earn you a point. Not this year, though. We 
need DRS, don't we? Bloody hell. Desperately in need of DRS just to get past these guys. You would have DRS. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's what we need. Jack Cam. Jack deploy. Yes, we can. I don't want to use the commentator's curse, but you know what I'm thinking here, don't you? You know what I'm thinking here. Piastri, overtake. You have the overtake. Copy. Stuck there. Piastri, neutral. Fantastic fighting. Fantastic fighting. Show the cams. Wow, look how tightly packed that is. Piastri, harvest for two. It's so fast, it's not going to affect us, I don't think. Jack Cam. Jack, harvest for two. Piastri Cam. Okay, okay, like that is it. It's a race position gained for a Mercedes. Go on, on the inside. Oh, I thought he was going to go for it as well. They don't just give it to you at the front, do they? They don't just say, go on then, you're faster than me. Right, well, we gave it a good go. We've got to hold on to those tyres now. Jack has a much better run in. But he's fine. The Astri, not so fine. He's been working hard. The Astri has, so that's all right. We'll get that ERS up and we'll use it to our advantage. The Astri neutral.
He's almost there, isn't he? Almost there. Oh, he's got him. That's one down. The advantage of good tyres, that is. And a new position, just gained by Williams. Yes, we overtake. Okay, we can easily overtake. Coffee. Got blocked. He got blocked. Oh, look at that! An opportunity opened up on the out on the inside of the outside. Yes, we neutral. The Astri Harvest. He's got him. He's got him. He's got Russell. I swear to God, he's got him. Ah, oh, he didn't got him. Oh, it blocked us. Good driving. I'm not going to complain. It's smart driving. Just be neutral. Just tree harvest. How are they clinging on to their tyres as, as much as they are? Come on. I'm eating into mine really heavily, why aren't they? He's going for it. How do we not get DRS? Or again, is it so short I'm missing it? The camera switches and it's already gone past sort of thing. You're doing a good job. And there's an overtake! Piastri Harvest. Backed up into 16th. Good job, Jack. He's still a second faster than everybody ahead of him. Except for Stroll. No, no, no. He's faster than everybody. Oh, yeah. He's the fastest on the track right now. The Astri Neutral. No DRS. It says DRS green on the thing, but it's, it doesn't open on the actual car. Piastri overtake. This is as good an opportunity as any. Coffee. The DRS is on, but it's not actually open. Does that mean it's broken? We're not actually getting DRS, or is it just a bug in the game?
cannot get past him, he's too good. Gastry overtake. Use the overtake. Okay. What that is it? We want to leave court, please. Copy. Ah, uh, ran out of ERS at the wrong Copy. time. The Astri Harvest. Got it, he's got it, he's got it. We're on podium. And a new position just gained by Williams. That was hard. It was really difficult to get past him. Gastry neutral. The DRS activates, but it never opens. The Astri Harvest. There's Jack is up into 15. To go. Fantastic job, Jack. And he's got the fastest lap. Have a little look and see how Jack is doing. It's 8.3 seconds off the next car. Looking good, looking really good. Yes, we harvest. Keep the head down, keep the head down. The cams. Don't know what we have left. with an overtake what Jack Maxfield Jack overtake reduce the lift and cop Jack overtake remember overtake is available DRS as an opened. So is it broken? I mean, the game needs to talk to me if it is. Increase, 
Go on, you've got him. You've got him at last. Fantastic. The Astro deploy. We could do with a bit more pace now if you've got it. And there's an overtake from Williams. Full deploy. Something. Okay, five laps to go. Fastest lap of the race we're looking for. is your chance to shine. Come on, Piastri. Make something incredible happen. Piastri neutral. Good. You can't afford to drop back. Right, all we can do now is just let him do it. Let him try and get to the end. Keep that pace high. It's got better tyres. It's got faster tyres. Two seconds faster than Perez. Three laps to go. Oh my God. Anyone else nervous? I've ripped my own bicep out at the moment. Reducing the lift and core. Copy, copy. Gastry Harvest. Currently three laps remaining of the race. Mm. My nerves are shot to bits right now. That's all we're going to get out of him. That's two laps to go. Do I deploy or do I hold on to it? I've got to deploy, haven't I? Maybe not on this lap. Attention is palpable. He has to deploy. 
Section three. Safety car. You are joking. No. Oh, robbed. Absolutely robbed on the last lap. Oh, I can't believe you just did that to me, game. Multiple cars, I think. Oh, my good God. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Now, the thing is, it's not over. It is not over because both of my drivers have crashed. Who ends up into 13th? That's awesome. Both of my drivers have crashed under the safety car before. So, just cross everything for me. Hold your breath. Can you believe we're here? I'm going to get a good shot of that safety car. It's not easy. this yeah safety car ends this lap but there's no extra lap is there overtake is available if needed is it gonna happen it's not gonna happen surely okay to push okay to push go push go push is the safety car going in or not go oh, on my son give it as much willy as you've got Ah! Wait a minute. Oh, that is the end of the race. Oh my god. Second place, guys. We did it, finally. Perez has crossed the line first. We nearly took first off him there. If our DRS acceleration was better, we might have done. That was incredible. Very happy for doing. 13th is respectable. I mean, he worked hard for uh, Piastri to get second place. It's massive for us. There's the 25 we're after. A wonderful result here for the Williams driver. Get in. <laughs> ah, photos galore. A very impressive showing today for Williams. A really solid showing out there, which is exactly what they needed. After the race, they sit in seventh place in the constructor standings. We now look ahead to the next round in Monza in Italy. The Temple of Speed is waiting, and the teams will be ready and raring to go. Finally, it all went right. Look at that 18 points in the bag. Wonderful. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Jack Doohan with the fastest lap as well. That would have been an extra point. 18, three behind McLaren now. That is now a possibility. I think we're deserving of sixth. I think we're unlucky to be in seventh, I'll be honest with you. Jack Doohan on 14, Oscar Piastri on 21. Wonderful. Absolutely amazing experience. I'm a bit disappointed there's no podium at the end. In fact, I'm really quite disappointed there's no podium at the end. What is that all about? There should be a massive hoo-ha, loads of champagne and all sorts of good stuff. But his smoothness is not good, but I, I, I disagree. I think he's actually doing really well. What do we think he wants to learn? Accelerating faster out of corners. I think that's definitely something we need. Both drivers.
Okay, regulation vote, financial changes. Uh, cost cap reduced from 141 million to 136. I say so, because we never hit it. Yeah, their confidence in me has grown quite a bit. How rude. I'm now in charge of the company. That's what you should be saying. <laughs> we, we stand back and let you take over. Now, what have we got on the go? Five days and six days from side pods. Oh, new side pods. Ah, fantastic. That'll help the engine. What a fantastic race, guys. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Thank you for sticking with me and uh, giving me all your support. Massively appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.